So how, how the work started was me asking my dad about where he first came to Australia. And he's like, oh, you know, I came to Sydney, this place. And I did a little bit of research and I realized that um, the East Hills Migrant Hostel was actually a significant um, Indigenous site prior to it being a um, migrant centre. My name's James Nguyen. I'm a visual artist who's from Sydney but um, based in Melbourne. I generally make um, work collaboratively with my family and friends and generally they turn out to be videos and performances. For the National there's three screens. The left screen is my dad addressing the camera directly, talking about his arrival in Australia and kind of like the historic context of the work. The middle screen is my friend Kezia, who's a composer for this piece, and myself playing with polystyrene, which we found while we were on site. And the third screen, which is um, to the right, is my mother um, reciting a poem that she wrote about kind of like the experience of my dad and also about the kind of indigenous history of the site where my dad landed in Australia as a refugee from Vietnam. I started learning about the deeper histories of the site prior to, I guess, migrant occupation of, of the area. Yeah, and, and so the conversations that I started to have around this with my father and with my family was not just limited to the idea of immigration and arrival, but also thinking about what existed before that, um, the histories that an immigrant might have to contend with when they arrive in Australia. Initially, it was a little bit of a difficult conversation because I guess my family, like a lot of other Vietnamese um, refugees and immigrants, haven't really considered um, what was here before our arrival. Because when, when we arrived, generally we, a promise this kind of land of milk and honey and a land of opportunity, which is like a tabula rasa or um, a new form of, I guess, um, uh, terra nullius, I guess. Straight away, my mum was like, oh, like, I can totally contribute to this and maybe write you a poem about this experience. And strangely, I had never noticed or even acknowledged that maybe my mum could be a creative person in her own right. And so through the process of um, proposing this question or this issue with them, I actually learnt about their own creative um, output and also their creative capacity. Um, yeah, which, which is a shame because for me, I always thought that I would not um, underestimate or undervalue my own parents. but because of how it is and because of how my mum doesn't speak very good English, I pretty much picked up the same sense of judgment that the broader society has of her. I like um, being in the space and kind of utilising whatever materials are around to kind of initiate performances and engagement um, with my family and the people I'm with. Um, I guess it's a good way to start a conversation and think about the resources that are available rather than bringing something from outside with a preconceived idea of how you might occupy that space. For the work when we actually came there as a family to kind of like really um, experience the, the, the site, we actually discovered that it was pretty trashed, right? Like um, I guess a lot of people use that space to go fishing but they left a lot of their trash behind and the trash that kind of like was most prevalent was the polystyrene. Um, the other thing that I, uh, we noticed while at that site was that it was full of weeds, so it was full of asparagus weed. And so for me, those two things became quite important in kind of like the aesthetic consideration of the work. Working with my friend Kezia, who's this amazing composer, um, we decided to think about how these pieces of um, polystyrene could be activated. And so while we were there, we started to kind of like drop them, rub them together, 
flick them, like shake them, do all these things to kind of generate sound. Polystyrene is not the most musical. Um, it's not the most ideal of materials. Um, it's actually quite awful to listen to. Like it's got a very terrible sound. And, and I guess conceptually Australia's history is something that's just as uncomfortable as rubbing two pieces of polystyrene together. For me, conceptually, this, this piece of rubbish um, actually had, you know, a lot of meaning in how myself and my friend and my family have to kind of like work through this notion of occupation and settlement.